Hey guys, Justin here with a Web Design Touch Quick Tip. Today we're going to cover a few simple tricks you can put into your HD access file that will make your visitors that much happier. I've personally run into multi-million dollar companies that don't take 15 seconds to implement at least one of these simple tricks and have received many complaints because of it. So with that said, we want to keep our website visitors happy, so here are a few things you can do. First of all, you want to redirect your website to one address from various locations. Whether your visitor types .com or www in the address bar, you want him or her to get to your site. To do that, let's go ahead and find your HT access file and open it. If you don't have one, you can easily create one and drop it in the root directory of your site. This will override certain elements in the HT access file that some hosting companies have in the root directory of your server. All right. So for this example, I'll use my personal website, www.justinhubbard.me. My site is directed to go to a non-www address whether you type it or not. To do this, I'll input the following in my HT access file. I'll go over a few things since a full explanation of each line, letter, and or symbol is beyond the scope of this tutorial. The first two lines only need to be added once into each HT access file. The rewrite engine can be picky, so for security and for rewrite rules to work, you need to add plus follow symlinks. This may be added in the root directory of your server as some hosts will add it, but it never hurts to add it in anyway just in case. Usually the rewrite engine on will already be enabled by your host, but again it never hurts to add it just in case. The next line has our rewrite cond for a conditional. Basically, we're going to say if this condition is met, then do. What are we doing if the condition is met? We are rewriting any request for www.justinhubbard.me to go to justinhubbard.me. Also note, you can do this in reverse and require www instead of no www. Now, why do you want to do this? Well, as we stated earlier, to make your customers happy and to keep them from going to the wrong website. Also, and maybe just as important, is that it significantly boosts your relationship with Google and other search engines. Plus, it will help prevent your site from being targeted as having duplicate content. Keep an eye on your SEO, and you might be surprised how much this simple trick will improve it. If you'd like to take this a step further, we'll pretend that my website has an external page such as... Now this would not be something that the average user wants to type in their address bar. So to make it simpler, we could redirect the entire directory and input this into our HT access file. This will produce a simple URL like so, which is much easier to understand on the user side, even though service side is still being read as this. Okay, so while we still have a little bit of time left, I'll show you a few more tricks you can do with the HT access file that will make your website just that much better. Want to keep your directory from being listed for anyone to see? I mean, without this, anyone could type in and see your entire images directory, for example. Here's a simple trick to block directory access. Create a new HT access file in any directory you want to block, such as images. Then inside that file, put deny from all, and that's it. Now no one can access that directory from the web. Alternatively, you can create an index.html in each directory and add options all dash indexes in your main HT access file. And that's it. All right, the last tip I'll show you today is how to enable gzip to make your website a little faster to load. gzip is basically a compressor for all your stuff. So first we need to find the module. And if that module is gzip, then we turn it on with mod gzip on yes. Now we'll make things a little less chunky by using mod gzip dechunk yes. gzip also needs to know which files to compress, so we'll include those in the next line. Now we'll add the rest. Now for a few exclusions. Close the module wrapper and now you've enabled gzip. And that's it. These simple tricks will improve your site's performance, increase SEO, and most importantly make your visitors happy. 
I hope you guys liked this quick tip. Please leave your comments and suggestions. This is Justin for Web Design Touch saying hasta la vista.